Hello and welcome everyone to the Recon for Bug Bounties course. My name is Rohit Gautam. I'm an ethical hacker, bug bounty hunter and founder of Hacktify Cybersecurity. So this course starts with the basics of Recon and bug bounty hunting introduction. We will see the fundamentals till the advanced exploitation. We will learn about top 10 rules of a bug bounty hunter and will understand the psychology of hackers. We will also understand the basics of recon which will help us utilize the approach into our hunting process. The mind map section will cover the approach and methodologies towards the target for pen testing and bug bounties. With the help of mind maps, we will get a clear visual building block and representation that will help us in performing the attack process with more clarity and will help us in knowing the next steps. Next in Shodan, we will start with the installation of Shodan CLI and we will learn about Shodan queries such as info, count, download, etc. We will also do host enumeration parse datasets, scan commands using Shodan, etc. We will also see Shodan images, exploits, report generation and a lot more. Along with this, we will do live exploitation and identify the latest CVEs through Shodan. With this, we will also do live sensitive data hunting using Shodan. In the next section, which is content discovery, we will cover tools like DIR search, GoBuster, which will be helpful for finding out sensitive endpoints of target like db.conf or env files, which may contain sensitive information about target. We will also utilize project discovery datasets to start hunting on bug bounty programs, which are hosted on hacker one and bug crowd. We will also do subdomain enumeration using certificate transparency and we will utilize cert.sh along with the automation of cert.sh we will see google and facebook certificate transparency as well next into the scope expansion section we will see how we can use asn lookup to increase the scope for any target also we will utilize many tools like amas sublister chaos pi etc that will help in increasing our scope for any target. Next, in the DNS enumeration section, we are going to see how DNS dumpster is going to help us in identifying more information about any target. Along with this, we will see how we can utilize a reverse OS and docs that will be helpful for knowing more information about the target like acquisitions. Next, in the fuzzing section, we are going to see how we can successfully fuzz the web application to identify a lot of sensitive endpoints. Here, we will do the fuzzing on lab and live using burp suit, FFUF and WFuzz. In the GitHub Recon section, we are going to see how we can identify the underlying API keys or sensitive information on GitHub repositories. Next, in the CMS identification section, we are going to see and use tools like Webalizer, built with Netcraft, which will help us identify the underlying technologies. Also, we will see if there are any outdated versions of software running, which will help us in identifying the vulnerabilities and exploitation. Next, in the Google Docs section, we are going to see how you can utilize Google Docs to identify sensitive information. Also, we will learn how to become the author of your own Google Doc. Next, in the Nmap section, we are going to see how you can use Nmap commands to do port scanning, as well as how you can utilize different NSE script engine to attack on websites. Next, in the web identification section, we are going to see how you can identify and fingerprint WAF if they are running on any web application before they block you when you are doing your pen testing or bug bounties. 
in the next section we are going to see how you can make your own custom word list for recon for each and different specific targets next in the javascript enumeration section we are going to see how we can identify hidden endpoints from the js files like api keys etc in the next section we are going to see a way back archive to crawl all the sensitive endpoints which have been saved by the Wayback Archive Spider. From there, we are going to identify the parameters and we are going to hunt for the most famous attacks like SSRF, XSS, etc. In the next section, we are going to see bug bounty automation in which we will automate our day-to-day -day easy repetitive tasks. Next, in the Visual Recon section, we are going to utilize tools in which we will take screenshots of large number of domains and subdomains and identify if there any vulnerability exists. In the next section, we are going to see bug bounty platforms and how to kickstart your journey on these platforms like Bugcrowd, HackerOne, Synac, Integrity, etc. In the next section, we are going to see report writing as it is one of the most essential skill for any pen test or bug bounties. With the end of this course, you get 24 by 7 support. You can always post your queries into the Q&A section and I would be very, very happy to solve all your doubts. Also remember, I wish you all the best for your journey and also earn a lot of Hall of Fame and bounties. Thank you.